This episode is about getting in the boat. I'm Rachel Keefe, and this is Monday's Muse. It's been a while since we were able to record a live episode of Monday's Muse, and a lot has happened in the world in the last month. I have a lot of thoughts and a lot of frustration, and I will try to keep them organized and the frustration to a minimum. Yesterday's reading was about Jesus inviting the disciples to get into a boat and cross the Sea of Galilee to a new place where healing would take place. I can't help but think about what is happening in the world around us in the context of that passage. People are dying because we are afraid to get in the boat with Jesus. Jesus' invitation was to all people. He did not select certain disciples or certain kinds of people to get in the boat. He said, let us get in the boat and go to the other side. We're not in the boat. There's a case in South Dakota where a gay man was given the death sentence because the jury thought he would enjoy prison too much. Here in Minneapolis, a black man was shot by police yet again because he was a person of color in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yesterday at the Pride Parade here in Minneapolis, people protested state-sanctioned violence by the police. They were protesting police involvement in Pride. And the Pride organizers were upset by that because they have forgotten that Pride started out as a protest against state-sanctioned violence. We have thousands of children who were separated at the border from their parents. We don't know who they are or how to reconnect them with their parents. People are dying and their lives are being disrupted because we haven't gotten in the boat. The boat isn't smooth sailing. There was a storm that threatened to swamp the boat. And Jesus stood and said, peace be still. Yes, he was talking to the weather, but more importantly, he was talking to the disciples with, with him in the boat. Be still, I am with you. And that's the part we forget. We get lost in these fears and phobias that were created by human beings. When we are in Christ, we are a new creation, meaning that we are supposed to be seeing Christ in one another and at the very least seeing the humanity in each other because we fail to see other human beings as beloved children of God, people are dying. Racism is a human construct. Homophobia, transphobia, human constructs. Sexism, human construct. These divisions we have between one nation and another, human constructs. People come to the United States seeking a better life because they believe that this is a land of freedom and liberty for all people. And our own fears prevent that from happening. It's time we get in the boat with Jesus. And we hear those words speak to our heart and our soul that says, peace be still. And that we make room in the boat for all people regardless of who they are and where they come from in the world and by what name they call God. There's room in the boat for every human being who is seeking peace and justice and a life of liberty. It's time we set our fears aside, get in the boat and begin speaking those same words that Jesus taught us to say, peace be still, you are a beloved child of God and there is love enough for all. Will you get in the boat and speak out against those who live in fear and perpetuate the myths 
that somehow one kind of person is better than another. Join me in calming the storm and creating peace and justice for all people. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week.